Oh yeah, welcome back to the letters. <laughs> I do the same thing every time. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I got laid in a skate park parking lot for the first time. Like, my entire fucking world centers around my experiences at the skateboard park. Like, it's it, it's bizarre, dude. Yeah, yeah. it's so then, fucking weird, man. To have them all go away, and then to have a bunch of fucking for lack of a better word, renegades show up and go, we're gonna fucking do it ourselves, man. And just take it under the bridge. And by the way, I'm not fucking leaving anyone out, okay? This is for all of y'all. Anybody who ever picked up a bag of cement and had a fucking notion that you were gonna make your own thing? Love you. Fucking Robbie at Channel Street. This is DIY. So, um, I don't know. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I didn't want to drive anymore. I didn't want to drive to go to some shitty skate park. There's no other way to explain it. Very poorly designed, boring, really sterile environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not really fun took the fun right out of it for me so you have you put a little bit into it you know and uh that guy puts a little bit into it and she does something and he does something and everybody whether they're trying to or not it all kind of ends up going to, to some pretty cool looking thing you know This made me where I, like who I am. Fuck, it's crazy. It's like if this wasn't here, I wouldn't be nobody. If it wasn't for Robbie and Andy and Yamo and Bill, I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't be sponsored. I wouldn't. I don't know what I would be doing right now. Fuck, it's crazy. What's your favorite thing about it? It's still here. <laughs> <laughs> Pure and simple. Yeah. It's still here. It's still here. It's home. It's home, pretty much. To tell you the truth, Jeff, I'm not even a big fan of this do it yourself because I didn't do it myself. I did it with the help of others who did anything in their life on their own. Were you guys inspired by by the Burnside thing? By fucking oh, Red dude, and, so uh, much, man. I mean, yeah, who, who fucking places an inspiration? I mean, it, it, just look at it. I mean, it's a, it's an unbelievable thing. Yeah, the first banks went up there in 90. Yeah, we started building. Started, uh, started making a few things and, uh, I just kind of took it upon myself to really dedicate some time into it and keep it going. And, and no matter what anybody said, like, oh, they tear it down, or like, whatever. Just blow them off. Just keep doing it. Yeah, we're lucky. Because uh, we met some some allies along the way that, that liked what we were doing and helped us out. It brings a lot of people in to do something totally giving and selfless, you know. Uh, that's really cool. You know, I'm old now, so I don't so much care about how rad I get on the coping or whatever. I kind of am more into, like, the actual impact it has on uh, my fellow man and woman. You guys are fucking nuts. How come? How look, so? Look what you made. But it was a long, long process, so it didn't seem all that nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. It seemed kind of nuts like the first couple of weeks, and then it just was like, oh, this is what we do, I guess, for for however long they're going to let us do it. And uh, it just kept rolling, man. It just kept rolling. It was out of pocket for a lot of years, you know. The first few years were all out of pocket, just people kicking money down, you know, that were involved in the project. And then having shows, raising $3,000, $4,000 here, 
throwing it right back into concrete the next week and uh, you got a piece going and then some you know the next week somebody sees that coming up and they're like hey I got all this dirt they're bringing it down we got all this steel from the port and that's the amazing part of this stuff is, is how it all comes together like a per perfect set of circumstances yeah to get to get to here Building of it is an art form. The fucking skateboarding of it is, of it is an art form, and the fact that it becomes its own living entity unto itself. The skateboard part just sitting there, this inanimate object, and and the entire fucking life that it spawns. With you know, with people coming and rolling joints, with people fucking doing boneless ones, the love affairs, the fucking fights, the the whole fucking nine yards of it is just fucking brilliant. you guys that fucking do this stuff man thank you we love you the impact you guys have had on all of our lives is so profound i can't even put it into words you guys are fucking men amongst men and uh this letter's for you thanks a lot what do you guys, what do you guys think you'd be doing if you weren't skateboarding well what i would be doing is probably nothing yeah yeah so it's good that you're skateboarding yeah, it's a good exercise. What about you? Uh, like, probably on my computer or something. Not doing much. Cool, man. It's really fun here. I'm stoked you guys are having a good time when you're skateboarding. That's fucking rad.